but we you know we're getting out our message we're we're coming in contact with new people but as i said before social media doesn't really give us the direct line of contact right um social media just kind of gives us the ability to increase our likes and things like that we'll talk about th those specific stats and things later um but it, it gives us a really loose connection to someone, right? And we don't need loose connections. We need, we need connections that we can build into, you know, real relationships of trust. Uh, Cause that's what, it, that's what it takes to do, you know, real organizing work. Um, you know, when I'm talking about organizing, being connected to underground organizations, you know, that means deep canvassing, that means, you know, public engagement, that means being, uh, you know, active in your community, both, in your organization's work and in, you know, allied and supporting organizations work. Um, but so to do that, we need, you know, to keep, to engage people and to bring them in and have them doing more work within our organizations, right? Cause that's the goal. Uh, every green party I know, uh, is, you know, pushed on by overworked volunteers, right? We're, we're overwhelmingly volunteers. Um, you know, the National Party has a few staffers. Uh, some lucky states like my state in Illinois have part-time staffers. Um, but overwhelmingly, Green Parties are ran by volunteers. And so we really need people to, you know, the, the key to building a grassroots party is bringing in more people, right? We want to, we're grassroots parties because we're small, but we're trying to build into, you know, mass membership parties, hopefully. And so mass membership organizations where people and, you know, bottom up movement or organizing we could add it from the grassroots nature um you know is, is what our goal is so that requires bringing in people and, and taking some of that load off it's hard to do that when all you have is is a social media contact so a big part of what we have to do as social media managers and it's a very um it's not spoken of very much um and it's different for us uh if you work for, you know, a mainstream Democrat or a, one of the, you know, front, the institutional not-for-profit front groups, um, you get access to lists, you can buy contacts, you can buy data. Um, but for most grassroots organizations, the money to spend, um, you know, getting contact lists and things like that just isn't there. And, it, and you know, the, and it's probably questionable for most groups. Uh, whether it's the best use of their money, right? Uh, those lists are generally cold lists, and you can you can kind of narrow them, but uh, it, it's probably not the most efficient way to go about things for most groups. Um, so we need to get you know an essential part of being a grassroots social media man manager is bringing in new contacts, bringing in you know not just getting the like. From someone because remember that like doesn't come with a phone number that like doesn't come with an email address uh, you can go find it and get it you can you know if you've got nation builder it's scraping all of your you know facebook content for and trying to match it up with people's phone numbers and things like that um you know i'm sure that the van and things that the democrats use do, do it similarly or with voter rolls um you know so you can get to it but for most of us that's not you know that's not part of our operations 